tell us in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with everyone you know. It's great because um, uh, cooking like uh, is, is a basic life skill. Yeah, it's a life skill. The younger you start learning how to cook, and both boys and girls must learn how to cook. Yeah, because so commercial actually, kitchen, it's quite a tough job physically to work yes. in a commercial kitchen or a restaurant. It really is a tough job. So really, that's also why there are a lot of there are a lot more men there. But you know, like for I always tell my the, my students, I said even if you don't want to become a chef one day, I mean you have to learn how to cook because if you don't know how to cook, someone's gonna have to cook for you, or you're gonna have to buy your food. Or so it, oh. it's practical. And um, my my goal is for them to see it as something fun, you know. Yes. So that's why my style of teaching is hands on. It's completely individualized. There's no watching me do things. No, they each get their own individual workspaces. They do everything from beginning to end. And um, I do not teach simplified things for children. I teach them as I would a grown-up. So there's no kiddie recipes. No, it's like if they're making yeast yeah. dough, the real thing you can do. No, and it's a nice break, whatever your work is like. For me, I, when I'm not teaching, I work on my books. And then yes. when I'm, after a while, you want the break, so I go to the kitchen and then I'll cook. So, you know, it's, it's, it's a nice break. It's a nice, uh, it's a nice hobby. And then... Um, nowadays, of course, most people have a lot of time. So if they're not experienced yeah. folks, this is the time to learn. And those who are experienced now have the chance to do the things that they normally would not have the time to do. Um, in the weeks in in the weeks that have passed, um, the shopping situation has also improved. And yes, uh, aside from I noticed like lately in the restaurants, the there it's like getting better stocked. And also, there are so many suppliers now. Uh, there are so many individuals that deliver all sorts of things, from baking needs to seafood to vegetables. So you know, there's it's getting it's getting better. So there's yes. a lot of things that they can experiment with. So, uh, and I said earlier, it's so unique that you were you know, for a person to put all three of her passions together in one great passion project under the tiny kitchen brand and yeah. i do know that um, the future looks very exciting for tiny yeah. kitchen now when i was thinking about how what my vision is for the show one of the things is that i always want to put forth every week is to make people feel good because of the environment that everybody's experiencing everywhere in the world yeah then of fear and insecurity it's as if nothing is certain in this world you know but i think the one thing that we that i felt is important is people are safe at home not stuck mm -hmm. at home yeah and being in your home safe with your entire family is a blessing yes very you much know so. it's a, a tremendous blessing and we have to inspire the family as women as mothers as homemakers we have to be we have to make that extra effort to inspire especially the young kids I wrote on his timeline i said you know this lockdown it does it can keep you here physically but it doesn't it cannot it cannot keep your dreams your imagination you know your 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 the things that you're hoping for those it doesn't restrain that you know it's absolutely over all the things that we were planning to do but they're just postponed yes you know, they're, not, they're not they're not never going to happen i always believe that when you establish a home you should make it as comfortable and as relaxed and Surround yourself with the things that give you joy. Stay tuned for the next episode. Only here on Z81 Radio, Manila.